All right, so this is uh, section 12.5. It's a field mouse problem. Uh, and so I give you a rate equation, but uh, this is essentially a differential equation. Um, so Y is the population of mice. Um, so this is actually on the left-hand side, dy dt. So it's the first order ODE. It's equal to AY minus B of T uh, times Y to the 1 seventh power. Uh, so A is just a constant. Uh, and so we're given a value of the constant of 0.9 in the problem statement. Um, but what makes this problem a little more challenging is um, we're not given a value of b, so b changes with respect to time. Uh, we're not given a function for b, it's not a constant. Uh, what we're provided with is tabulated data. And so uh, this is a case where interp1 uh, can be a nice solution when dealing with such problems um, in order to allow us to solve uh, the, the ODE um, as we have before. Okay. Um, so remember when I use ODE45, it's just going to call my rate function at different values of t, uh, where those different values of time are chosen to achieve a given level of accuracy in my calculation. Um, so I don't know what those times will be a priori. Um, you, know, I'd, you know, if I were just to specify these specific values, um, chances are you know, I'm not going to land on those values exactly uh, as I integrate. Okay? So, um, the example problem that follows goes through um, some fun um, with the uh, with the problem, but uh, we'll we'll set it up and, and play with it a little bit uh, over in MATLAB. Okay, so let me see if I can't get this over in uh, my lap MATLAB window because uh, there's no way I'm going to remember everything, uh, so that uh, I can try and get this set up. Okay, cool. Okay, so if I want to solve this differential equation in MATLAB. Uh, the first thing I need to do is create a rate function. Uh, so I click new script. Um, so this will be function uh, res is equal to, um, we'll call it mice rate. And then that can have two inputs. Um, here we'll use uh, t and y. So my rate function can have, uh, is required to have two inputs and it'll have a single output. Okay, uh, cool. So there's nothing to unpack, it's just a single uh, um, ODE. Um, so next we'll bring our constants. So in this case we'll have a problem statement that tells us the A is 0 0.9. Okay. Uh, but then you know, what do we do with B? Um, well, um, what I can do with B is since B is tabulated uh, as a function of T, um, I can create vectors of my B and T values and then just use uh, interp1 so that for a given value of T between 0 and 8, um, I can return a value of b. Okay, um, so let's just have tabulated uh, uh, b data, and so let's do b is um, so we'll do 70, 36, 11, 1, 4, 13, 28, 43. And 56, okay, and I wrote them as uh, whole numbers, and that's times uh, 1 e to the negative 4. Okay, then t is, um, I could just use colon operator to go from 0 to 8, make that t vector. So then to get little b, b I could do is interp 1. Okay. Um, let's see, so t comma b, t will be my independent variable, b will be my dependent variable, and I want to estimate the value of b at uh, the little t um, at which I'm calling uh, my rate function. Uh, and if I don't specify anything, I'll use linear interpolation, but I could change that to uh, cubic or anything else. Um, let's just leave it linear for now. Okay, um, and then I can go ahead and compute my rates. So my rate would be a times y minus b times y raised to the one seventh or one point seven power. Okay, we'll save that as my rate. Okay, um, and we'll just solve in the command window since all we're trying to get at is an example of using interp one. Um, so I could use ODE forty five. Uh, at mice rate, we're told to integrate over the range 0 to 8. 
and in terms of initial condition, we're given initial mouse population of uh, 100. Actually, let me, I, uh, won't let me copy her. Well, let me just run it. Okay, and here's our uh, plot when we use linear interpolation. Okay, and if we want to compare it to um, P chip or spline, I can just go in here, change it to P chip, and save it. Uh, and then I clicked hold on. So hopefully, if I run it again, right, it plots in the same graph, only uh, now it's P chip. Uh, issue is, MATLAB decides to use uh, the same color uh, in both cases. Right? Um, so there seems to be a little difference up here in the peak. Um, and let's go ahead, we'll, we'll save the data and we'll look at this. All right? Okay. So let me do T, call this P chip. population of 100. Okay, now let's use uh, linear interpolation. So I'll just update that to linear. Okay, change these to different variables. Okay. So let's go ahead and we can plot um, first linear interpolation and maybe I'll put that as a black line bam now if I want to plot my P chip results uh, I could do that now let's make that a red line all right so for the most part they're pretty good uh, looks like around six seconds uh, where you have this extremum uh, there seems to be a, a, a difference all right cool all right and so you know here just uh, interp1 gave us a way to effortlessly uh, interpolate tabulated data and use that in our numerical solution of uh, ODE. Okay. Uh, have a look in the text in the example. Uh, play a lot more uh, with this problem, right? But this is the basic uh, outcome.